All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the DFS experience for Wednesday, June 18th. I'm lying, June 19th. We're gonna um, we're gonna get in, get in, and get out as fast as possible. We're gonna start with we're gonna start with the pictures up top. We're gonna go through the list of pictures, see who I like, see who I don't like. We'll um, look at look at some stacks that I like, and then we're gonna get out of here. Um, got Cole Reagan's up top going up against Oakland. I don't mind targeting Oakland. They do got a few pesky bats. Last five games, 13, 27, 19, 15, 38 fantasy points. But what I'm really looking at is the runs given up, obviously, in the strikeouts. Four, nine, six, seven, and 12 strikeouts last five games. Three, one, one, two, and zero. So even if he's getting tagged, he's keeping the, the runs down. But Cole Reagan is one of their um, best pitchers, so I'd expect nothing less from him. Um, I did see somebody. Like, I kind of glanced through it. I did see somebody that I was kind of interested in that um, that you guys know I don't usually mess with. But you probably know I'm going with this, but we'll get there when we cross that bridge. Reagan's is, Reagan's is absolutely in play. Peralta's in play against the Angels. The Angels could get no hits or they could get 20 hits. But I still don't. I'm not fearful of their bats. Joe Ryan is okay. Tampa Bay's been hitting lately, so be careful with that. The fact that Croquet or Crochet is the fourth more expensive batter pitcher is a crime. Um, he's definitely gonna be my SP one. Um, Houston is a joke. Um, I only fear Altuve and. Alvarez and Alvarez hasn't even been on it like that. You know what I'm saying? So in Croquet, he's gonna he's gonna dance around him. Last five games, 37, 31, 23, 29, 23 fantasy points. One run, one run, one run, two runs. Earn runs, I should say. Strikeouts, 13, 10, 8, 11, 4. Some people are gonna look at Houston. And probably shy away from Cro Croquet. He's my first pitcher in. It's nothing to think about. He's my he he. If if, if I'm gonna say there's an ace in the MLB, Croquet Cro Crochet is my ace. Crochet is my ace. <sighs> Garrett Cole is going to pitch on Wednesday. How many innings he's gonna get? I have no idea. I I wouldn't test that against Baltimore. Baltimore. Is a very potent team, I should say. Garrett Cole or no Garrett Cole. I wouldn't be messing with Baltimore. Godsman is trash. Baltimore's been hitting well. I've been playing Baltimore. I'm sorry, Boston. All weekend, just cashing out. Um, Duran, Valdez, Wong, Devers. I've just been stacking them and cashing all weekend long. Um, Bradley is in play, but Minnesota does have a, a very well, um, hitting team. And they have that guy that bats clean up, Royce Lewis. He's, um, he's kind of a big deal. He's injury prone, but he's a big deal when he's on the court, on the court, on the field. I probably shy away from Bradley. I don't think I need him on this slate because Minnesota could, Dropped nine runs on his head, and he wouldn't even know what happened. Anderson, I don't think I need Milwaukee's kind of the same way. They could drop a lot of runs on your head with a lot of um, a lot of good batters. Brian Bello, you could take a shot. I like targeting Toronto because I'm not. There's no. There's no one on Toronto that you know shivers me timbers. You know what that means? There's no one that I'm scared of. They're all just pretty much meh, you know. And, you know, on this channel, I always say that um, Vladdy is overrated. That team is overrated. They need to blow that up. Um, Bello, I wouldn't mind, but I don't need him. Sean Manaya is not as good as you think he is. He's going to get smacked by Texas. I don't mind going to the bats. Now, here's where, here's where 
Um, you guys will probably be shocked to hear me say that I won't mind playing Hunter Brown because he's been getting his he he's gotten his act together. Last five games, last four games, 34, 27, 17, 26 fantasy points. Earn runs, 0, 0, 3, 1, and 2. Strikeouts, 9, 7, 7, 9, and 3. So the last four games, he's been playing ex- exceptionally well. And they're going up against the White Sox, which is one of the worst um, hitting teams in the league. And I love playing. I love paying down for pitchers to have a huge upside. You got to fire up Hunter Brown. You feel me? So we're going to be firing up Hunter Brown in my main lineup, and nothing's going to get me to do otherwise. Haney Mets been the Mets are one of the hottest teams in the league right now. I want to be tar- <clears throat> I want to be targeting the Mets. Povich, there's going to be no judge, so that gives you a little bit of wiggle room to you know. Play games if you want to play games. Soto still in the lineup. I'm not really scared of Staten. Verdugo's okay. The bottom of that lineup hits. Um, so be very careful messing with the Yankees. Medina probably gets smoked by the Royals. And Feltner will definitely get demolished by the Dodgers. I think that pretty much sums up all of our pitchers. I'm going to throw Hunter Brown as my, my SP1 or in that spot because more than likely I will play Croquet, but I keep I say his name different ways every time, Crochet. But for video purposes, I'm going to go with Hunter Brown so I can pay it for bats. <sighs> I've been targeting Guzman maybe a year and a half now. Gosman. 13, 45, 4, 18, and 32 fantasy points. His range of outcomes is crazy. But he gave up three runs, three earned runs to Cleveland. He gave up none to Oakland. Makes sense. He gave up six to Baltimore. I think I played Baltimore that day. He gave up one to White Sox, one to the um, Tigers. What's the point? The point is he's playing up to his competition. Obviously, He's smoking the bad teams. He's getting lit up by the good teams. Baltimore's hitting very well. And I want to stick with that narrative. So what am I going to do? I'm going to pick up Duran, the table setter. Um, Ref Snyder bats third, 3,900. I like that. Maybe Connor Wong because it's hard to get a catcher, a quality a quality catcher. That bats on top of the order. Connor Wong bats fifth. So I'm getting a catcher for 3,600. He's hitting in the heart of the heart of the lineup, and he has a lot of guys that should get on 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 base before him. So that's what I'm looking for. So let's go with Wong and Duran. And then as far as bats go, I mean another stat. We could go to Minnesota. We could go to Baltimore. We could go to Kansas City. Let's go to Kansas City. Let's not make this complicated. Let's pick up Bobby Witt, sixty-five hundred. Well, all this value, all these value plays, we should spend some money, right? And I always pair him up with his third baseman. Either Pascantino is a monster too. Let's go Pascantino. So we're gonna go Bobby Witt and Pascantino. And then we're going to go Connor Wong and Jalen Duran with Hunter Brown up top. So we're about to go to FanDuel, get a quick lineup, get out of here. If you're new here, welcome. Appreciate you taking the time to watch my video. If you're not subscribed, subscribe, hit the bell, thumbs up the video. All that is absolutely appreciated. If you're struggling to, if you're struggling with MLB, a little bit difficult for you, you want my help, you want me to send you my finalized optimal lineup right before first pitch, no problem. Check out the Patreon link in the description. You can check out the channel memberships that have lineups also, and Super Chats are available. Now that there's no more NBA, anybody in my NBA tiers, you will be getting MLB. Uh, Nobody's going hungry, you feel me? If you're paying for something, you're going to get lineups regardless of what sport it is, but you're going to get MLB in in place of NBA. Um, I will send out WNBA lineups. 
for people that want. I I do set them out to certain tiers, but if you actually want WNBA, just let me know. We'll figure something out. Um, and now that NBA is over, I will be making multiple MLB lineups, maybe two or three FanDuel and DraftKings. That way, um, we don't get a lot of dupes if we're all in the same contest. I don't see I don't see the same lineups in my contest anyway, so that's not an issue. But just in case we get a lot of people playing MLB, then we'll have multiple lineups. So we don't have that many um, multiple multiple duplicate lineups. Okay, let's go to FanDuel. Let's get out of here. Let's wrap this up. So we know the characters. Um. How much is Hunter Brown? Hunter Brown is 7,800. Because this is a unique situation with a pitcher who's been pitching bad, that's not pitching well, um, that's priced at 7,800 against one of the worst hitting teams in the league, I think we just got to play him off Fandle 2 and not overthink it. I will have a lineup with Hunter Brown. I will have a lineup with Crochet. And then if I make a third lineup, then I'll figure that out. But we're going to go Hunter Brown. We're going to probably go. Kansas City is going to probably put up 10 runs. Let's go back to Kansas City. Let's get Bobby Witt, 4,100. We can do. Um, do we want to do Salvador? Salvador Perez, 3,100. Salvador Perez. Let's do Salvi. $3,100. Still have a ton of money to, to, to play with. Let's get another offense and let's get out of here. Um, Minnesota. I mean, Taj Bradley can carve up Minnesota, but I don't know if I need to play that type of game. Um, Milwaukee. Baltimore. Um... Let me see Tyler Anderson, Brian Bello, Texas. Shaman I is gonna get cooked. Um, where's Texas at? Let's go over to Texas. You got Simeon at 37. You got Seeger. Let's pick up. Let's put Seeger in utility. This is going to Garcia is 34. Garcia or Simeon? Let's pick up Simeon. 37. You still got $3,200 left. So if you have the guts to play Hunter Brown, you probably get any bat that you want. Um. Yeah, so let's go with Hunter Brown up top. Uh, Salvi. And Bobby Witt from Kansas City. We can go with Simeon, Corey Seager from Texas against Shamanaya. And uh I hope things I hope things uh go our way. Listen, I'm gonna go on and get out of here. Appreciate you taking time to watch my video. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell, thumbs up, check out the Patreon link in the description, check out the channel memberships. Super chats are open. Appreciate each and every one of you, and I'm out of here. I'll talk to you later. Ciao.